Chess.com is here with Grandmaster Fabiano Caruana, who sure is making things interesting going into the final round. You won today, and I'm going to ask you, why didn't you play the Petrov? You had to play for a win. <laughs> well, I, I figured that Yarrow would um, play a very safe line if I played the Petrov or anything like that, so I decided to take some risks uh, with the opening, and he surprised me pleasantly by playing a very innocuous line, where we get a very interesting fight. Um, and okay, it, just, it went very smoothly. Why did you think he would play uh, something not so exciting against the Petrov? Is it because you're much higher rated or because of his tournament standing, he's not having a great tournament and just wants to kind of get home or something? Uh, well, in general, he plays very safely. Um, I mean, if you look at his games, generally speaking, he plays very solid positional lines. And I didn't think that I would get uh, many chances if I played like, something like the Petrov or some sort of Spanish. In the middle game, were you surprised how weak his dark squares were considering he still had his dark squared bishop? Well, everything went very badly for him after he played knight f4. Um, I don't know if the position was already bad. I mean, I thought I was slightly better. But after knight f4, g5, it just uh, two free tempi, and if he plays knight d5, he just destroys his position. Um, so after the g5, I was already pretty sure I would win. Of course, we don't know if you're going to get your th your first ever third straight tournament win, as we talked about earlier at this event. But you also mentioned on the commentary you've never gotten to play a smothered mate. You're at the level now where very few games finish in mate. Do you think you might go in a whole career without ever smother mating your opponent? It's possible. Um, usually, it occurs a lot in variations, but never <laughs> in an actual game. But I was still very happy to actually have it in a variation because it's such a nice one. It comes out of the blue. I was just uh, talking with Annie Wang, who won her game, and she was temporarily up a point and a half. She said she was actually not going to watch Nazi's game and go home and do her homework, even though a loss by Nazi would clinch her the title. Are you going to watch the end of Sam's game as we sit here talking right now? I mean, I already assume it's going. he's going to win. Um, I thought maybe there were some drawing chances, but it looks like he already lost his a pawn or is going to lose it, so yeah, I assume he's going to win. And that sort of puts me in a must-win situation tomorrow. We don't often ask players in the Open Championship to talk about the U.S. Women's Championship, but Annie Wang is becoming quite a story. If you watch any of her games at all, of course, you might end up traveling with her to Batumi in September. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I watched the games in the women's event, and I, she, her conversion skills are very impressive, and she fights very well. And when she gets an advantage, she doesn't really let it go, which is already a huge skill. Um, and she's fought back from like really some really bad positions, so clearly some uh, very strong player. Probably going to get much stronger in the future. And finally, you've been hanging out with Yasser a lot. Has he finally learned how to say your last name right? For, for the record, how many R's are in your last name? <laughs> Just one. Um, the, well, I, I, I mean, I think he's gotten better. <laughs> as long as he passes the Knights and Pawns and Buckhouse, everything's cool? Yeah, well, although we don't play as a team too often. Usually I play against him. Usually I'm uh, playing uh, him and Eric or him and Alejandro, but usually I play on the opposite team. Although he's a very good player, so I wouldn't mind playing on his team as well. In your cadre of players, who do you play the best with as a partner? Uh, I mean, in general, Levon is, okay, he, he is the best player in our in our bunkhouse circles usually. How about here at the U.S. Championship, though? Robert Hess I've coordinated very well with. He tends to uh, to listen to me, which a lot of people don't do. <laughs> and um, and he's very caring as a partner. Uh and that's, a bit, that's an important skill in Buckhouse and in other things, but also in Buckhouse. Very nice. So I'm glad you're doing well as an individual and in the team event in the Buckhouse. So uh, round 11 is going to matter. It's going to come down to you and Sam. We don't know who's going to be leading going to the last round, but you might still be trailing by half point. We'll see. In any case, good luck to you, and we'll talk tomorrow. Thanks.